flat earth using the Pythagorean theorem. Somebody please show me how I'm wrong. So everybody can agree the Pythagorean theorems a squared plus b squared is c squared, the 3, 4, 5 triangle. But if we overlay a circle on that, the 3, 4, 5 triangle with the radius of 4, the hypotenuse is 5, the radius of 4 from the hypotenuse of 5, and you're left with the remainder of 1. Let's plug in 2,451, 3,963, and the hypotenuse is 4,659. Subtracting out the 3,963, and we get 696. So then we have to, that 696 miles is the drop from flat earth to curved earth. The interesting thing at this, 2,451 is the distance in miles from Los Angeles to New York. And if we look at the time from travelmath.com, it's four, four hours and 54 minutes at a constant 500 miles an hour. So if you plug those numbers in, to go 696 miles in four hours and 54 minutes, you'd have to descend 2.37 miles per minute, or 0 0.0395 miles per second, 208.56 feet per second. At a cruising altitude less than eight miles, you have to descend seven, almost 700 miles when you're only flying seven miles or eight miles. Is there any commercial pilot, any fighter pilot, anybody that's descending that distance, 208 feet per second for four hours and 54 minutes? Has anybody experienced that? It's ridiculous. It's ludicrous. So why can't we just admit the Earth is flat and get on with our lives? It's about time. The Earth is flat. Prove me wrong. Somebody, please, please prove me wrong. Use the Pythagorean theorem and prove me wrong. Or if you you know you want to look at this is the heliocentric Pythagorean theorem. Three squared plus four squared is four squared. That's what they want you to believe. Come on, let's wake up. There's so much more to flat Earth than there is believing this nonsense. The heliocentric Earth. So much more. Wake up and enjoy what life could be.